Hi, this is Derry Smith. In my previous video, I showed you how to install and configure Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to link Microsoft Access to your SQL Server 2008 database. Now, what you would need for this video is something called the ODBC connector. After you download it and install it, we can begin. First thing you need to do is open up Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. When you open it up, a window will pop up saying connect to server. Here you would select which server you would like to connect to if you have more than one servers. And also the authentication method you configure to access those servers. I choose Windows Authentication, so I'm just going to click connect and uh, under object explorer a few items pop up we're going to go click the plus sign to drop down the databases and in databases you'll see a folder called system databases where there are several databases already made all right and there's one here that i made but if you like to create a database you right click on databases select new database and you give uh, your database a name. So I'm naming mine DB Info, and uh, I'm just gonna click OK. And there I have it. A new database was created. Now with that done, what we wanna do now is to create that link that is gonna get us to connect from access. To SQL Server. So, what we're going to do, we're going to open up ODBC Data Source Administrator. And here, we'll be able to create that data source. So, we click Add. We scroll straight down to see SQL Server. Select it and click Finish. And you give that SQL Server a name. So, I'm going to name mine test you can also put a description if you would like and then you select the server you have to create it for I'm creating it for the server here and I'm gonna click next now here they're asking you which authentication method you would like to use for your new data source I'm sticking with the Windows authentication method I click I'm gonna click next so I'm gonna change the default database which I want that data source to be linked to. So I'm going to select the new database I just created, DB Info, and click Next. And I'm uh, going to leave everything as is here and click Finish. And uh, just to make sure everything is up and running, I'm going to just click Test Data Source. Once you see it's completed successfully, you click OK, click OK again, and there you have it, a new data source. Okay, so we click OK. And then we head on to the linking from access to SQL Server. Now you're going to open up Microsoft Access and we're going to create a new blank database. Okay, so select blank database. We're going to click this folder this side here. And we're going to change the, the type you're going to save it as. So from this drop down list, you're going to select Microsoft Access Projects. Right. and you're going to name the database to whatever you want um, just going to give it a, this name and we click OK and we create the new database now our window is going to pop up and it's going to ask you if you want to connect to an existing SQL Server database since we're trying to link to the database we're going to select yes okay now we have several uh, several fields that arose in this data link properties window all right the first one select and enter server name click the drop down list and we're gonna you're gonna select the server you created okay the second one is the the method of authentic authentication to access that server i'm using windows integrated security and finally, you're going to select the database from the server. So from the drop-down list, 
you want to select your server i'm selecting the new the new server i created last you're going to test the connection make sure everything is up and running once it's succeeded you click ok click ok again and there you have it your access project has been linked to my S to microsoft sql server okay now we're going to link the tables from sql server to access so what we're going to do we're going to go back to management studio we're going to drop down the database and we're going to drop down on the tables now you're going to see there are system tables here if you'd like you can add a new table okay um you can give it you give your columns names uh id numeric name text address text all right i'm going to save this table give it give your table a name and select okay all right so this is the new table i created so now we're going to go back over to microsoft access and uh, pull the table over there now in access what we're going to do we're going to select odbc database under external data odbc database click it select ok going to go to machine data source and select the data source we created which whatever you named it i'm going to select ok all right and if you if you look you'll see all the tables that were that, that are in the database in your SQL server see everything is here if I go back over into the management studio you'll be able to see all the tables on the system tables DB properties DB info DT properties and DB underscore info. Back in access, we're seeing DB underscore info, DBO properties. So I'm just going to select these two and click OK. And uh, shows me that I imported the, the table successfully. Going to click close. And there we have it. Tables added from SQL Silver linked directly into Microsoft Access.